Sandy Perlman. Samuel Clark Sandy Perlman, August 5, 1943, July 26, 2016, was an American music producer, artist manager, music journalist and critic, professor, poet, songwriter, and record company executive. He was best known for founding, writing for, producing, or co-producing many LP by Blue Arista Cult, as well as producing notable albums by The Clash, The Dictators, Pavlov's Dog, and Dream Syndicate. He was also the founding vice president of eMusic.com. He was the Schiller Distinguished Professor Chair at the Schiller School of Music at McGill University in Montreal, and from August 2014 held the Marshall McLuhan Centenary Fellowship at the Coach House Institute CHI of the University of Toronto Faculty of Information as part of the CHI McLuhan Program in Culture and Technology. Early Life and Education Pullman was born in the Rockaway neighbourhood of Queens, New York, the son of pharmacy operator Hyman Pullman. He received a Bachelor of Arts from Stony Brook University in 1966, where he had been student president. He was awarded a Woodrow Wilson Fellowship in the History of Ideas and completed graduate work at Brandeis University. He was also a New School Fellow in Sociology and Anthropology. As a university student, Perman wrote a series of poems called Imaginos, whose characters and lyrics would feature in his later career. Career in 1967, Pullman handpicked musicians for a rock band to perform the lyrics that he was writing, based on his Imagino's poems. He dubbed the band Soft White and a Belly from a World War Roman II speech by Winston Churchill and later changed their name to Blue Arista Cult. He managed the band with Murray Krogman from 1967 to 1995 and produced or co-produced seven other studio albums and four of their live albums. Significantly, Pullman was co-producer with David Lucas and Murray Krugman of BOMIT's See Don't Fear the Reaper in 1976. The song reached No. 12 in the top 40 charts and has remained in frequency modulation radio staple since. On the Rolling Stone list of top 500 songs of all time, it is listed as No. 405. In 1966, he was introduced to the founder of Crawdaddy magazine, Paul Williams, by Playboy political analyst Michael Horowitz. By 1967, Perlman had become one of the original rock music critics of the magazine along with Williams, John Lando and Richard Meltzer, with Horowitz later penning a cover profile of Jim Morrison for Crawdaddy in April 1969. Perlman was considered an important figure in the development of both alternative and commercial American rock music and for his intervention in British punk. He was drafted by record company CBS to produce Give Aim Enough Wrote, The Clash's second album, which gave the band their largest audience to date, and also produced many of the tracks that were compiled in Black Market Clash. He was described as the Hunter Thompson of rock, a gonzo producer of searing intellect and vast vision, in the Billboard Producer Directory. Pullman also worked as a full-time artist manager, managing the careers of Blue Arister Cult, Black Sabbath 1979-1983, Romeo Void, The Dictators, Shakun Street, Aldo Nova and others. In the 1980s, he pioneered the Mega Tour Stadium format of several bands travelling together, sharing promotional costs and production and travel costs, a format persistent today with the Lollapalooza Festival, the Lilith Fair and related tour packages. In 1983, Proman leased Studio Celsius at San Francisco's The Automat Studios from studio owner David Rubinson and dubbed it Time Enough World Enough Studios. After the Automat closed in 1984, he leased Studio Celsius at Hyde Street Studios from studio owner Dan Alexander. Perlman ran a recording operation in Studio Celsius as Alpha and Omega Studio from 1986 until 1991. He also used it for his own projects, including those on his short-lived MCE distributed label Popular Metaphysics, and he also subleased it to other producers and artists. In 1989, he took over as president of the alternative record company for 115 records and established a production and distribution deal for the label with NCA Records before purchasing the company and changing the label's name to Popular Metaphysics. The label was short-lived, but it signed a few solid acts and released their records on the MCA label, including Love Club 1990, Manitoba's Wild Kingdom 1990, and World Entertainment War 1991. The 1991 edition of Mark Garvey's Songwriter's Market, published in 1990, carried a listing that read as follows, Asterisk Sandy Pullman, Inc., 245 Hyde Saint, San Francisco, CA, 94,000, 102, 415, 885, minus 4,000, 999, uh, and our director, Natasha V, record producer, record company, Popular Metaphysics formerly 415, recording studio Alpha and Omega recording, High Street Studios. 
In the late 1990s, Perlman served as the founding vice president of eMusic.com, a subscription store for download to own online music and audiobooks that is headquartered in New York City and now owned by Dimensional Associates. eMusic was one of the first sites to sell music in the MP3 format, beginning in 1998. As of September 2008, eMusic had over 400,000 subscribers. He also served as Vice President of Media Development for Moodlogic.com, the first online music recommendation engine, from 2000 to 2003. In 2009, Sandy Perlman was appointed as an at-large member of the National Recording Preservation Board and RPB of the Library of Congress. Perlman was the Schiller Distinguished Chair of Music at McGill University in Montreal, specialising in the programmes in music theory, sound recording and music technology. He later served as Centenary Fellow at the McLuhan Centre for Culture and Technology at the University of Toronto, where he co-taught a course on digital media distribution. Additionally, he was a visiting lecturer at Harvard University, Stanford University, University of California, Berkeley, University of California at Santa Cruz, and an invited speaker at the Mill Valley Film Festival Future of Music Coalition, Canadian Music Week and SXSW Festivals. As a professor and as a public speaker, Perlman lectured on the architecture of the music industry, strategies for monetizing music downloads, and the history and future of music. He owned Alpha and Omega Recording, a 72-track analog recording facility in San Rafael, California. His production career was managed by Peter Shershen at Breathing Protection, Inc. Awards. Herman was the recipient of 17 gold and platinum records. There. Herman died on July 26, 2016, in Novato, California, from pneumonia due to stroke-related complications. He was 72. Production credits. 1972 Blue Arista Cult Blue Arista Cult 1973 Blue Arista Cult Tyranny in Mutation 1973 The Mahav Vishnu Orchestra Between Nothingness and Eternity 1974 Blue Arista Cult Secret Treaties 1975 Pavlov's Dog Pamper Menial 1975 Blue Arista Cult On Your Feet or On Your Knees 1975 The Dictators Go Girl Crazy 1976 Pavlov's Dog at the Sound of the Bell 1976 Blue Arista Cult Agents of Fortune 1977 The Dictator's Manifest Destiny 1977 Blue Arista Cult Spectres 1978 The Dictator's Blood Brothers 1978 Blue Arista Cult Sun Enchanted Evening 1978 The Clash Give M in the Frub 1980 Attack in Street Jack in Street 1984 Dream Syndicate Medicine Show 1985 Blue Arista Cult Glove Ninja 1988 Blue Arista Cult Imaginos 1998 Cosmic Freeway Red Flowers, 2001 Jennifer McKittrick Glow, 